About a day ago, for you and about 30 seconds for me, we watched episode 2 of... I almost said too hot to handle. Oh my god, I'm like traumatized by that show. Of Bendai Gospel. And it was kind of heavy. It's hard to have like a fun like, ooh, reaction video to Midnight Gospel because it's like pretty packed with stuff to think about. The last one was about death. <laughs> like, remember death and also Jesus. It was so engrossing. I didn't even finish my coffee and that's crazy. Here we go, episode three. I feel raw emotionally from the last episode. I hope we get a nice lighthearted one. Oh, good, yes, sure. We're doing this again, death. A little vibrator on the house there, that's nice. I'm gonna start editing like Clancy. Oh snap, he's got a rice cooker. Hell yeah. Easy access to rice. It's your boy! Damn. His content. So good. Brutal. Do you have a planet that has ice cream on it, like an ice cream world or something? I always enjoy this. I never get tired of that traveling thing. Music is so on point in the show. It's like my house. Got him. That was awesome. What the hell? Captain, you got any ice cream on this big fun boat? Just a little explanation before we even start. Magic is what I am. So hmm. that's what meditation does. That trains your mind, you know, so it's not constantly scattered and going into, you know, all different directions and dispersing the energy that you're trying to build up. Right. Mm, I know you're talking that about That would be it. really I useful. I had a period of time in Korea where I was meditating every day, and I think setting the time aside to think about things clearly without distraction, without obstacles, without getting in my own way, I think set the stage for me to take on sort of some of the more ambitious projects that I've taken on. Like early retirement, having a serious relationship, making more money, maybe even starting YouTube. It's interesting how this episode and the last episode, they both are connected to something that I've been thinking a lot about recently, I guess. Probably not a coincidence. You know, when you're talking about Eastern traditions, Eastern paths, most of these practices are set up to lead you to this wow. state of what they call enlightenment. Eastern traditions are focused on doing that over a period of several lifetimes. I don't have time for that. So what you're trying to do is cram several lifetimes of spiritual and energetic experiences into one. And yeah, that can be yeah. a little uh, overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Give me all the answers now. Now, 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 now. You know, I don't have very many friends just because magic is my life. This is the focal point of my <laughs> life. I can tell. Interesting. I don't know. I wish I had something that I felt that dedicated to. I've always had that. That's what I realized. Missing. That's why I wasn't I miserable a lot of times when I was in. I'm all over the place. Because even in there, in a hellish situation, I was doing what I was put here to do, which was magic. That Damn. alleviates How do you find a that? lot of suffering. It's like a current of energy yes. that is passed along from master to student. The Knights Templar started receiving this current whenever they were over there. Mathers, all right, I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what he's talking about. He's explaining to the, the origin of this thing that I don't understand. You need to shine that light, my. That's how you're gonna is that talk Joey to Diaz? customers. What an oral tradition is, it means the way this current of energy is passed from one person to another is through the voice. In the very first chapter of the Bible, they're talking about in the beginning was the word and the word was God. That's because this is an oral tradition. For example, you can only pass the current if you've received the current. Like you could say the exact same words that a person who's holding the current would say and if you're not holding the current, it's not going to transmit. Alright, okay. I'm sorry, I don't want to be a hater. I, I, wait, don't leave! I'm sorry, I, I love it, it's great. Uh, This guy... He's not saying very much. I just think that this conversation wasn't prefaced well. I don't really know what he's talking about. I don't know what kind of magic he means. So I'm kind of struggling to catch up and fill in the pieces in hindsight. I also have kind of a, a negative reaction when people talk about things in a way that you're like, well, I, I guess that's true. Like, I guess that could be right. You could look at it that way, but it's more like word shifting and less about actually finding meaning and value. The whole thing about like oral tradition and passing on value and stories. I mean, yeah, that's all good stuff, but like he's using this terminology that I'm just not a part of, like I'm just not exposed to it. So it's hard for me to follow it and get the actual value behind what he's saying. Also, I had a different interpretation of the, the word is good thing. I thought that that was about truth, truth and existence, but I, I don't know. I'm no biblical scholar. 
Again, I'm too dumb. That's the name of this series. Midnight Gospel, I'm too dumb. I like the cats though. My cats are good. Maybe my expectations are just too high in that last episode. By the time that I got out of prison, I didn't even feel like I was in prison anymore. My cell almost felt like a control tower where I could reach out and touch anything in the world. How do I do that from this room? I'm trapped. Thing, and don't get me wrong. Who is this guy? There's, there's, some some, there's a lot of background information that I feel like we know, need. Whether it was beating or for this, starvation. That we don't have. Millennials I see that are sort of flailing around out there now trying to figure out who they are and what they're gonna do with them. So I never had to experience any of that. How did he always know what he was doing if he went to prison? Did magic send him to prison? Anybody who blames millennials for things can't be that bright. Reach, uh, astral projection or some kind of... That is part of Yes, explain magic. it. Please explain and, it. And I don't like that word. It sounds so kind of flaky and new agey. Yeah. In our society now, well, it not does. just our society, what we think of as enlightenment is the first step in a process. In magic, what oh my god, so I'm even more behind than I thought. The next step in this process is developing what we call the solar body. You what? are building a vehicle. I need a solar consciousness and a solar body? To not disintegrate at the point of what we call the second death. That's whenever your consciousness goes through this sort of cosmic washing machine. Every aspect of personality is washed out of it. You're left with a kernel of pure energy. Yeah. But your consciousness Even Duncan's like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Time. Beethoven said that the point of being alive, the point of being human, is to approach divinity as closely as you possibly can and then disseminate those rays out to mankind. Oh. That's beautiful. That Beethoven. <laughs> Are these like worldly possessions that he's going past? TV, distractions. Oh yeah, he's getting pulled in. Ignore the unicorn. Oh, there's the ice cream. Get the ice cream. You need it. No, get it. You forgot. That's the whole reason we came. Is it the sun body? Time for the chaos of the episode. Time to wake up to the truth, Barry. Yeah. Sam Barry, what a dick. Wasn't enough, huh? You ruined your own fucking marriage, Barry. I just want to hear you say it. Say it, my you wife. You never woke up. Oh, I'm so lost. So much for a solar body? I don't get the connection. Yeah, it's time to get out of this planet. Universe, whatever. Cut your losses. That planet needed to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! <laughs> That's pretty good. I want that. Shout out to Clancy for this frosty cone. Dad, yeah, no! Let's just have some ice cream, you Dad, no! Oh, I know. It was Joey Diaz. I was right. I don't know. That was a tough one. Not as good as episode two. I think the guest was weak. But I said it. Be right back. Gonna go find my son body. Animation? Beautiful. Guest? gibberish what the hell is he talking about i'm looking to soak knowledge in like a sponge that's what tv is about for me i feel like that was more of a bragging session a session of self-aggrandizement the self-aggrandizement of one's doctrine nothing he said was wrong necessarily except maybe the thing about solar bodies i don't know what the hell that's about it's just the way he said it it was it feels like very simple ideas packaged in a very contrived way. So not a huge fan of the guy. And I also, because I'm dumb, remember, I couldn't follow the, even the animation story. Like, who's Barry? Not the strongest episode, but fun nonetheless. Let's pick this up later. Thank you guys for watching. As always, leave a like on the video before you go. Time to go reflect on my death.